Hi everybody, my name is Christian Swaim. I'm a sophomore here at Calvin and I'm from Whitensville, Massachusetts. The first time that I encountered gospel choir was during um, my first semester of freshman year when I came to support one of my friends who was in the gospel choir. And um, that night I really had a, an amazing experience listening to the choir and just being there worshiping with them um, because over and over again, the message that the choir was like preaching like to me, like I felt like the Holy Spirit was whispering in my ear was that we were created to worship as a choir and you as an audience, you were created to worship. Um, and right there at that moment, as soon as I heard that, the Spirit whispering in my ear, I knew like this was something I had to be a part of. So very next semester I join up and I've been loving gospel choir ever since. It's just been Best part of my week, um, just an opportunity to let go and worship on every Tuesday and Thursday night. You just can't beat that. So um, that's what Gospel Choir has been teaching me, that I'm, I'm here on this earth to worship. I was created to worship. So thank you for joining us for our virtual concert, and uh, please worship with us and enjoy the music. All glory to God.
Hi, my name is Kat Beidler. I am a senior here at Kelvin and I'm from Grand Rapids. When I think about what Kelvin Gospel Choir means to me, what it's done for my life, I, I don't even know where to start. I joined my freshman year and it's, one of, it's been one of those things where every semester I ask myself, oh, do I have time in my schedule for Gospel Choir? And Almost every semester the answer is no, but I'm still here anyway. <laughs> it's something that I just need to make time for because I truly don't know what I would do without this community, without this opportunity to gather with my, my peers, my friends, and they've become my family, and just gather and worship the Lord together. Um, singing and sounding good isn't even the goal of Gospel Choir. That's something that just comes secondary with the worship and it's it's so refreshing and it's something that I think has gotten me through all of the hardest parts of being a college student over the past four years and I know sometimes it sounds cliche when people say oh this is the best thing but gospel choir really is my favorite part about Calvin and I don't know who I would be or where I would be going without them.
Hi everyone, my name is Maya Veen. I'm a junior at Kelvin and I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan. So one of our songs is called No Nothing. It's based on verses in Romans 8 where it talks about how nothing can separate us from the love of God. And um, this song just made me reflect on how nothing I could do, no sin I could ever commit could separate me from the love of God, nothing someone could ever do to me, nothing I could feel, um, yeah. Just nothing that we could possibly do can separate us from the love of God. So as we sing this song, I just encourage you to really um, reflect on maybe what you feel is keeping you from experiencing God's love, God's love and just let it go because nothing can separate you from his love. Nothing that I've done 
separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hello everyone, my name is TJ Williams. I am from Muskegon, Michigan, and I am a junior here at Calvin University. One of the songs that we sing in our gospel choir is God Is. During this song, we reflect on who God is. He is our portion, he is our strength, he is Elohim, he is Alpha and Omega. Through this concert, we talk about God is everything to us. So as we go through this concert, please reflect on who God is to you. Come on, both hands right there. You know that God is your everything. God is the strength of my heart. 
Hi, my name is Jesse Kenyo, and I'm an international student from Kenya. I'm currently a sophomore student here at Calvin University. The other day I was thinking about the power of praise. Now we all know the uh, famous scripture in Acts chapter 16, there are these two guys, Paul and Silas, they're kind of famous, who were going about their business, you know, just like preaching the gospel to anyone who would listen. And they find themselves in the middle of a prison, surrounded by, uh, in pain and surrounded by criminals and every, everything you can imagine. Uh, and, and in that moment, rather than p uh, pitting themselves or wondering why, what God was doing in their lives, there's that famous verse where God, uh, the scripture tells us that they started praying and singing hymns. And all of a sudden there was this humongous earthquake and the, uh, the doors of their cell was open and the shackles came loose and, every, and we all know how the story ended. That is the power of praise. It doesn't matter what's going on in your situation. It doesn't matter whether your life reflects the, uh, a, good, a good time or a bad time, but that we can acknowledge the, who God is, even in the bad times, and see what God can do through that. And I think I just want you to reflect on that, you know, that can I praise God even in advance? I can praise him for what he's doing in my life right now, and I can praise him for what I know he's going to do in the future, because we all know he's won the battle. It doesn't matter what your life is saying right now. God has won it, and he says he's there for you. So trust in him and praise him in advance.
My name is Gwyneth Shepherson. I am a sophomore here at Calvin, and I am a missionary kid from Slovakia. Uh, Gospel Choir has looked a lot different lately because of COVID, and we've had to wear masks and sit more than six feet apart. So it's been very different and difficult to enjoy Gospel Choir as I did before. But it's actually been very helpful to me because it has helped me to concentrate more on what the words are saying in the song. And one song in particular has been very special. It's called Trust Me. And the song just sings about how God is who he is and he knows what he is doing. And in every circumstance, as long as we trust him, everything will be okay. And so that has been very helpful to me in these times uh, when things are so different and things are very difficult and not as, um, not as warm and cozy and you don't have people right next to you and it's just very very different than what I'm used to. Um, just being able to sing those words over and over again have helped me to to realize that everything will be okay as long as I trust him.